go over a line side taps today for solar. So here we have a fuse disconnect. We've already landed our wires in our fuse disconnect. We use a number six wire. Now we're about to do the taps. And to do the taps, we use these piercing connectors. They've got two rows of teeth that bite into the, both the wires to make a connection. So we'll fit, clean it off a little bit, put the tap on there. Actually, let's turn it around because I want my wire to go in from the bottom. And then this wire, I have to make sure it reaches all the way to the back of the tap. Let's close it up a little bit. There we go. I'll take a half inch socket. And I want to get it on there. Make sure that your wire is all the way to the back of your tap. Okay, so I didn't do it very hard. I'm going to torque it with my torque wrench later. Let's do the line two. Again, these are the service wires that come from the meter. This is the utility side. couplers like to be torqued to 156 inch pounds. So I set my torque wrench and finish them off by hand. Now these are insulated taps. So there's really no danger. You're not going to be touching any live parts here. So those are done. Now we'll check with our meter to make sure the taps are good. First I'll check to see if I get voltage at my fuse disconnect. And we got 247. It should be the same as over here. Looking good. Now I check the resistance. If I get over 10 ohms, I tighten my taps a little. So black wire to black wire. Yeah, that's a good tap. And red to red. Good tap. Okay, so now we have utility power to our fuse disconnect. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.